Greetings in the name of Yahweh, the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Joe, and I'm the man of God bringing you some encouraging words. So take it to heart and be real, okay? So praise the Lord. Whom the Lord has sent from heaven, I bind every spirit, evil spirit, that may try to come against this video. Thank you, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. Now, uh, everyone, this is the cross the Lord gave me. It came from the stream, and he had taken the vines and wrapped it around the stone. And that's the builders rejected. The stone is Jesus Christ, and that's his heart on the cross up at the top and but you can put this on. It, you wear it on your torso. You see, and, and there's like an arm here, like that. And underneath it, there's a stone. It looks like a woman giving birth here. See? Turn the camera properly. And it's got the stone here. And this goes right into my chest. So you wear this. And it looks like an elephant at the top. Show them. There you go. With a tusk and everything. That's the reason why you're looking at this. Praise the Lord. Now to back to the Word of God. It's for everybody that's ready to be serious. Now the rapture is about to take place and we need to give our hearts and lives to the Lord Jesus Christ and beware. Thank you, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. I pray that all who hear this video I say, I pray that all who hear this message will be dis delivered and made free by the Spirit of Yahweh, the God of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He that hath the spirit ears, let him hear. Please make the Lord Jesus Christ the Lord of your heart and life. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Praise the Lord. Pray. Wash me by the water of the word and renewing of the Holy Ghost. My sheep hear my voice and follow me or do and do as I say. Be a doer of the word, not a hearer only, deceiving your own selves. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. For he that is doubtful will receive nothing from the Lord. Unto him that hath shall more be given. I know my sheep, and they follow me. I give unto them eternal life. I know my sheep, and am known of mine. All that the Father has given me will come to me, and he that cometh to me, uh, to me I will in no wise cast out. We must hear what the Lord has said. His statutes are his ins instructions. These are known as his holy attributes seen in his holy word. His likes and dislikes known as his just judgments. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Hate the evil and love the good. And establish judgment in the gate. Then the Lord will be with you. There is, a, there is a famine for the hearing of the word of God. This is now. This is the time. Wake up. A man that can control his mouth is a perfect man. Should not the people seek the truth at the priest's mouth? My people perish for the lack of knowledge. Hear me. Can two walk together lest they be agreed? You ask and receive not, because you ask amiss, that you may consume it upon your lusts. My people forget me days without end. God stands and God's standards and statutes and commandments are of the utmost importance to know. This is a must. See yourself as a spirit man and woman, not flesh man. 
he rewards the spirit man, writing his law, laws on your spirit, heart, and mind. This is his doing. Their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Paul said, I am all things unto all men that I might win some. Boast not against the root, for you do not bear it, but it you. You are the branches, we, and he is the vine, and you are the branches. He that beareth fruit, the Father will purge. But he that beareth no fruit, he will take away and even cast it into the fire. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me, for without me you can do nothing. Hear me, children. Let not your liberty be evil spoken of. This means to this to some extent. Don't share it if they can't bear it. This is toward the weak Christian. If our liberality is in a thing God has brought us to understand to be clean, blessed is the man that condemneth not himself in a thing which he alloweth. Avoiding all the appearance of evil. Who is a wise man among you? Let him show out of his mouth his good works with meekness and wisdom. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be that God will hide you in the day of his indignation. The word of God is quick and powerful, dividing both the thoughts and the intent of the soul and spirit. They wrestle the word to their own destruction. You must rightly divide the word of truth. Here a little and there a little. For now we see through a glass darkly, then face to face. Hear me, won't you? Wake up. This is, a, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Hear me, wake up. For the mockers, Proverbs 17, verse 9. He that will love life and see many days, let him refrain from evil and speak no guile. The law of the Lord is in his heart, and he transgresseth not in tongue. To obey is better than sacrifice. The Lord said, Seek me while I may be found. And I said, Thy face, O Lord, will I seek. Seek me with all your heart, and you will find me. All who seek me early will find me. This means early in life. Wake up, people. The Lord said, I am waiting on you to wait on me. Can you hear God's voice? There is a famine for the word of the Lord. We, I said that. This is now, this is now. Okay, I've said that too. Be ye holy, for I am holy, says the Lord. For without me, holy, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Spiritually or physically, wake up. There is therefore now no condemnation to all those who are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. A man of wisdom separateth himself that he may intermingle with all wisdom and understanding. Do you hear God? He is calling you. Look upon, look upon everyone that is proud and humble them. As he was in the world, so are we. So we can stand boldly before him at his coming. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that knocketh, and he that seeketh findeth, and he that knocketh, it shall be opened to him. For God is not a man that he should lie. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Lean not unto your own understandings, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he, he shall bring it, he shall direct your paths. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, and so are my ways than your ways and my, his thoughts than your thoughts. God's voice can be heard by reading the Bible. We know that we have been selfish from our beginning. 
we we were born into sin only because we were born without Christ in our hearts. We must be born again by asking Jesus into our hearts. The kingdom of God cometh not by observation, but is within you. Do you understand? For this is the kingdom of God in righteousness and joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. Come unto me, all ye that lay that are burdened and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon thee and learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. True light is revelation. You must be born again or you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. This means to understand the spiritual will of God and to come to an understanding of God's righteous, holy, and just, perfect will. This means to truly see with the spirit man into his spiritual kingdom. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Yes, Christ is our treasure, and we are his. It's about his love, not his gold and diamonds. Do you hear, do you hear me yet? Wake up. And Christ, today, star, will arise in your hearts. Praise God Almighty, Yahweh. Protect your heart with all diligence, for out of it pursue the issues of life. For the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life unto them who have it. Wisdom. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be that God will hide you in the day of his indignation. That's today, people. He that walketh uprightly walketh assuredly. The hope of the wicked shall perish, and the anger, the angel of the Lord chaseth the wicked and puts them in slippery places. Beware of false teachers and so-called prophets, for they speak out of their own hearts. They say false visions and divinations, a thing of naught, and the de deceit of their own hearts. And the people say, preach unto us smooth things, preach unto us deceits, and the people even like it so. And so it is. I called and they did not answer. And so when they call, I will not answer. Don't believe in the two raptures. There's only one. When that door shuts, it's going to slam so hard. Oh, it's going to be so loud. People are having dreams of it being closed and there's no door handle. I'm telling you, that's a false teaching. You better get right right now because he's coming I, this year. Please don't wait on the Lord Please don't wait that long. Seek the Lord while he may be found. For the night cometh when no man will be able to work. Heaven or hell, it's your choice. God sends no one to hell. They send themselves there by rejecting God's plan for salvation. Humble yourselves in the sight of God and he will lift you up. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. Can two walk together lest they, they be agreed? No. Can you do good when you are accustomed to doing evil? No. Make the tree good or make its fruit and its fruits good. Or make the tree evil and its fruit evil. Choose ye this day whom ye will serve. For it's for me and my house we shall serve the Lord. Amen. Make peace with God, and he will make peace with you. Only harden not your hearts as in the day of provocation. The definition, when they, were when they provoked the Lord in the wilderness to see if he could provide a meat table in the desert. Manna wasn't good enough. Stubborn hearts, harden not your hearts. We know love because he, he first loved us. By sending his son to take away our sins, nailing them to the cross, forgiving all our trespasses, that we would walk in his likeness, holy and beloved. Only obey him from the heart and God will recover you, receive you. A humble and contrite heart, God will not despise. Who shall dwell with the everlasting burning? 
He that hateth every evil way, that separate, that speaketh not leasing, and shaketh his hands at holding of bribes. Even he shall dwell with him that is on high, even in Mount Zion, the city of our great King, Jesus Christ, even in the ammunition of rocks. Thus, his everlasting truth is our refuge. Wake up, people. Do you hear our Father calling you? In times past, God winked at sin, but now he requires all to repent or suffer his wrath. I came not to call the righteous to repentance, but sinners. We all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Is not my word like a hammer that breaketh the rock? Hold not your heart, harden not your hearts, nor stiffen your necks. I try everyone, everyone's hearts. Be not stubborn, lest they touch you. For a soul to be without knowledge is not good. Better is the poor that walketh in his integrity than he that is perverse in his lips and is a fool. The wicked shall be a ransom for the righteous and transgressors for the upright. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. A man that can control his mouth is a perfect man. Let not a man think more highly than he ought of him to think of himself, for God has given unto every man a measure of faith. Yeah, and you'll be accounted for that faith you should have used. You will be. You'll see. And if you're right with God, then so be it. If you're Luke with God, if you're a 30 or a 60 or a 100, just try to grow. But don't be a lukewarmer. Should not the people seek the truth at the priest's mouth? My people perish for the lack of knowledge. For the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life unto them who have it. Can two walk together lest they be agreed? No. Like I said, the secret is wisdom. At that point, defraud not a bro a fellow brother or sister. You you've made sad. Defraud them not. Who are you to have made them sad? Whom the Lord hath not made sad. God is the avenger of all such. Wake up, people. Be careful who you throw rocks at is what that means. Every perfect gift cometh down from the Father of lights, in whom there is no shadow of turning, meaning he doesn't promise and pull back. And he that cometh to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. First you confess he is, but then you need to realize he wants to bless you when you obey. Press in. Cry out for his salvation. Seek it with all thine heart, and thou shalt find it. Praise the Lord. Faith without works is dead, just as the body is dead without the spirit. <clears throat> Repent and believe the gospel, even the gospel of your salvation. Ephesians 1, chapter 1, verse 13, 14, 13 and 14. Compromise not. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Be not, con be not carnally minded, but spiritually minded. This is the secret. To obey is better than sacrifice. Proverbs 14:22 and Psalms 119:53 through 60. I want you, 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 the believer, to read that. Okay, brothers and sisters, may God be with you all. Pray for the peace of the spiritual Israel, whom we are His people. Here, it, here are a couple things to think about. Oh, I found a couple words I wanted to tell you. When you look at the word de Democrat, like in the like in politics, I'm hearing demon craft because they certainly are the wrestle against those principalities in government places. The Lord told you. And then entertainment sounds just like entrapment. That's just what they want to do. And obviously that's the day. Okay, I praise your praise the Lord and I'll get back with you later. Praise the Lord.